Ever heard of the Argentine tango? The century's old dance is sexy, glamorous, and one heck of a workout. I'm here at City Dance Corps, and I'm about to get my tango on. Let's go. The Argentine tango is way more than looking like a bombshell in a pair of heels. It takes strength, grace, and agility. And it's a complete fitness workout. Today, I'll be working with Estelle Nicolaitis. She studied the Argentine tango in Buenos Aires since 2006. Hey, Estelle. Hey, Jackie. So, Argentine tango, never done it. Okay. Where do we start? Here, at the bar. At the bar. At the bar. Okay. So let's come around. Okay. So what we're gonna look at, first and foremost, is your posture. We're going to look at separating your upper part of the body from the lower portion of the body. Meaning, from your bottom part of the rib cage, moving all the way up, I want you to feel like you're a hot air balloon. So really lengthening and reaching up towards the ceiling. So now let's uh, work a little bit of disassociation. Okay. So this means that my upper portion of the body has to work separate from the lower half. So I'm going to keep my hips where they are. I'm pretending I'm holding a basket. I have to take right from the rib cage, everything has to rotate and then it comes back into center. Okay. Okay, so this is all oblique work. So all the work is gonna happen in the lower portion of the body. So everything we do is about balance. And you're always going to be balanced on one foot or the other, never the same feet at the same time. Footwork is everything. And we wanna really make sure that the feet look sexy the entire time. I'm gonna activate the muscles on both sides of the leg work. So think if you have an elastic band wrapped around your thighs, you have to push out at the same time in the opposite direction. So flex and down, there you go. So stretch, 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 and point your toe as you do that, very nice. So you can see in the mirror how long your leg is. It probably doesn't look like it's very hard, but I'm actually, I'm giving 100% and I only know that I'm about 15% right. Jackie's doing great. She, I don't think she realized how much work was involved at the beginning. People think it's easy to learn, but it's, it works your brain just as much as it works your body. It's a lot like when you're walking into a yoga class. You gotta find that relaxation first, and that's the biggest problem, I think, with a lot of people is that they forget to let go. They just, they come in with so much tension. Whoever said that you have to sweat buckets to be getting a good workout is completely wrong. Let's just bust that myth. So let's learn to walk. Okay. The top of my head and my diaphragm and my knee are gonna move together. So everything is going forward and I arrive with the diaphragm directly over top of the toe. Because this is a partner dance, it's 50-50 work. So the leader will work 50%, the follower has to work 50%. So right now Jackie's been working 100% on her own but she's gonna have to work about 150% now because she has to apply it to a partner. All right, so now we're gonna apply this to your partnering. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Argentine tango is done in a closed embrace, but for the sake of doing, j keeping it a little bit simpler for today, we're gonna keep it in an open embrace. I've been practicing by myself and now I have to practice with somebody else. Like this is, I just, he was very good. He's cute. We're gonna go boleo to the back. This one, you're gonna think about your diaphragm and your knee coming together. Beautiful. And then you release back down to draw one more circle. Meet center, side step. Forward ocho, like you just did at the bar. Yes. Forward ocho again. From here, pick up this leg to bring it around. Oh, okay. Just to make it look fancier. Okay. <laughs> If you think you've mastered walking in heels, then you should definitely try this out because it is difficult. <laughs>